My name is Joel Blummel and I'm the director of the Student Recreation and Wellness Center and I've been at Washburn just about seven years now. I, just, uh, I decided to come to Washburn uh, primarily because they were getting ready to open the Student Recreation and Wellness Center and I thought it would be a tremendous opportunity to start a university department from scratch, from square one, nothing existed before, and it has been that. It's been a tremendous opportunity. Some of the things that are unique uh, and similar about the Student Recreation and Wellness Center and the programs we have here at Washburn are, like many schools, uh, we are able to offer a well-rounded program um, within collegiate recreation, uh, places for people to be healthy. Um, at Washburn, um, we really are very fortunate. Uh, we have a tremendous facility, lots of natural light. Um, it's completely free to students. There are no extra fees for anything that we do within the Student Recreation and Wellness Center. Um, the group exercise program, rock climbing wall, fitness assessments, exercise prescriptions, playing in a rural school, all of that is included in your tuition, access to the facility. So that is a tremendous opportunity um, at Washburn that is unique uh, to the Washburn experience. Uh, as far as changes go for the future, we are always trying uh, to do a good job of remaining up to date uh, and consistent. Uh, one of the things as a director I tell people is that from a management standpoint, I really don't want anyone to know that I exist. I want people to come in and have a seamless experience. Uh, people are coming here to exercise, be well. Um, they don't want to hear excuses about why equipment doesn't work. You know, they want to come in, they want to do their thing, and they want to get on with the rest of their day. Everyone's very busy. And so we try to do a good job of keeping everything in good working order. Uh, we're always looking for technological advances. Uh, our treadmills, for example, you have iPod connectivity. Um, you can download TV shows or lectures. Um, whatever you would like and actually use your time more wisely. Um, that's one of the things that I see in, in the future is that um, exercise equipment will probably be more connected to things like email, texting, uh, on, you know, be able to track your online courses and things all while you're exercising. So I don't know if that will be in the next year, but certainly probably in the not too distant future. The part of, of my job that I like the best, that's a pretty easy question. I enjoy working with the students. Um, I think Washburn um, has tremendous students. Um, you asked me earlier you know, why I came to Washburn. Um, if you asked me why I would stay at Washburn, um, it's truly because of the students. I think we have a unique mix of, of students from all different areas of Kansas as well as the United States and international students as well. But they're very hard working students who are truly engaged in their learning process. Um, similar to what uh, students tell us about the faculty, the faculty are here to teach students, that's their primary role. I really do feel that Washburn students come to Washburn because they want a quality education. What would I say to a prospective student? I've actually thought about this um, somewhat because my kids are getting the age when my oldest is not right now, but in the not too distant future will probably be considering what school she'll want to go to. And I think Washburn is a great choice. I really do. For the uh, I mentioned earlier, you know, the faculty are here to teach. They're learning from people with terminal degrees in their educational programs, um, which you don't get everywhere. Um, it is in a good mix of the size community. Um, internship opportunities abound. Um, being the state capital, there's lots of unique things that you can do here. Um, and Washburn is truly a great place. It's big enough to offer great things like the Student Recreation and Wellness Center and the programs that we offer. Uh, but it's small enough to where people know your name. And that is one thing students tell us all the time is that they are not a number at Washburn, they're actually 